You might think that with all the snow in the background that it's really cold here, but the reality is it's three and a half degrees Celsius, which is not a temperature that we're not used to in the UK. So two identical cars. We've got one fitted with winter tires and one fitted with summer tires. If you've ever wondered what a winter tire is, I'm going to show you the difference because I have a summer tire and a winter tire here. They both look quite similar because they're black, but actually there is a big difference between the two. If you look at the summer tire, it has a completely different tread pattern to the winter tire. The winter tire is designed to disperse water and it is also designed to hold snow in between the tread and snow sticks best to snow if you can imagine rolling a snowball. The second thing that's different is the number of sipes cut into the tire to give it extra grip. The third thing that's different about a winter tire is the compound and that you can't see. In order for a tire to be grippy it needs to remain flexible. A summer tire becomes very rigid and hard in temperatures below 7 degrees Celsius. A winter tire on the other hand remains flexible and therefore grippy. We're now going to see the difference between summer tyres and winter tyres on the slalom course, which could be likened to swerving for an animal that's on the road. Now, I'm on the summer tyres at the moment and there is virtually no grip at all, which is not really a surprise because winter tyres are designed for climates that are less than 7 degrees Celsius. So winter tyres are designed for temperatures that are less than 7 degrees Celsius. So I'm now in the identical car to the last car. The only difference is that this car has got the winter tyres on and the grip levels are so much better. I can turn the wheel and the car pretty much goes where I want it to go. Now let's try them through a corner. The summer tyres can't hold the corner at all. That would be us sliding onto oncoming traffic. What about when it really matters? Emergency braking. Both cars are driving at 70 kilometers an hour and wow, that's about three car lengths. As you can see from these tests, there is a clear distinction between summer and winter tyres. I have shown you that winter tyres are the obvious safe choice. You have shorter stopping distances and also better cornering so you are safer on the road. Remember, 7 degrees Celsius is the magic number. When temperatures fall below that temperature, put the flip-flops away, get the winter tyres out and you know that you've made the safe choice for the colder winter months.